डॉलर इंडेक्स अचीव इट्स क्रिटिकल रेजिस्टेंस लेवल एट हंड्रेड फाइव पॉइंट फाइव हंड्रेड फाइव पॉइंट फोर जोन वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉग रेजिस्टेंस लेवल वी डिस्कस इन आर लास्ट वीक एनालिसिस एंड रिव्यू दैट दीज लेवल्स आर अचीवेबल एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ ग्रेट ग्रेट रेजिस्टेंस बिसाइड इट इज अचीव द सेम एंड क्लोज द वीक एट हंड्रेड फाइव पॉइंट टू एट द सेम टाइम ऑल्सो वन मस्ट नोट दैट इट इज स्टिल स्टेइंग बुलिश ईडिंग हायर लोज हायर हाइस डिस्पाइट द बुलिश इज गेटिंग डिमिनिश वील सी मोर first with the help of charts followed with indicators and towards the end i will give you the trading levels strategy and the profit uh, strategy for next week for trading dxy do watch till the end do like share subscribe and comment friends your every like share and comment is a great motivation inspiration for me to deliver on time every time my analysis and reviews and targets on the daily basis twice a day on major global markets and commodities so do press the bell icon and stay tuned at the same time you can be part of my free telegram channel in order to get the live updates let's start see dxy is a 10th straight bullish week and at this point after forming this and the breakout we have discussed that it is all the probability that it may try to attempt and achieve 105.5 levels also look at this see uh, the body size is getting diminished here yes it is still staying bullish however the bullishness is getting diminished with every move and now it is trading very close to the top of the channel the bottom of the channel if you look at is somewhere here at 104 points 104.5 104.6 zone and below this see only bearishness only bearish confirmation in the dxy is if it stays below 104 103.8 level which is going to be the strongest support for any downside move remember this is what is the month of september and it is a greener candle it is a bullish candle i do not see and hence i do not see the dxy breaking below 104 103.8 zone and the candle turning red any point of time here in september so this is the last trading week and possibly it is going to stay in uh, the monthly candle is going to stay in green and even if it tries to rise again we may see a swing and a close at around those that is what we can expect now if you look at see the behavior of dxy here achieving the bottom here see at this point i have told you that it is breaking past the top of the channel and certainly we can see a breakout move now this is continuing on the upside how far it can stretch now if you draw a parallel here you will find that 108 110 zone again in the previous reviews we have discussed that these levels are achievable and this is going to be the maximum resistance zone for the dxy at 108 110 zone possibly it may fall shy of 110 in the coming month but yes uh, if it stays above 106 the chances will increase for the dxy to move towards 108 110 zone achieving those levels we will see how it behaves but right now yes it is still staying bullish there could be couple of retracement candles there could be couple of retracement channels but again it may try to continue on the upside now this is on the weekly charts alone let's have a look at the daily charts also one must note see let me show you something on the weekly chart see the dxy is staying in this see this is an upward trending channel and for years and years it is trading in this bullish channel itself now if you look at this the top of this channel is somewhere here at around 115 levels 116 chances for which appear only if it stays above 108 110 zone only above which the bullishness might prevail right now as long as 108 110 is respected we are not going to treat dxy as extremely bullish now look at the daily charts on the daily charts see this are the breakout levels and since then the dxy is staying in this bullish channel high, see the highs are beautifully aligned here and that is why i say it has to break beyond 105.5 levels in order to confirm the further rise 105.5 105.6 if it breaches certainly you can say there could be another round of breakout rally which can be seen here in the dx at the same time on the daily chart the bottom of this is somewhere here at 104.5 levels which should not be breached and then 104 levels only below 104 you should treat that the prices are going to break on the downside else it is still continuing with the bullish momentum also one must note that couple of consolidation candles one bullish candle then retracement and again a breakout and then consolidation so these formation this pattern appears to be almost alike and that is why i say beyond 105.5 105.6 just stay long we are going to look forward to another round of break now see if you look at the formation of our last 10 weeks see this was the bottom and since then uh, a beautiful channel is created here this is extremely bullish channel you can note see bottom 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 again a bottom and now the support levels at 105.4 104.5 104.4 zone yes it has great great support here only below which further bearishness may prevail as 
if the dxy comes out of this channel certainly more bearishness is going to prevail we can look forward to 104 103.8 as the first target 103 and 102.6 are the greatest greatest support below which only it can be further treated for a crash right now another observation here is see the top of the channel is little far then this little high is here and now it is creating lower high so if you connect this you will find that bullishness is getting diminished here so we have to be careful we have to be watchful the top of this channel is somewhere here at 106 106.5 zone for next week now let's have a look at the monthly chart now on the monthly charts remember after consolidating here for months this is the first breakout candle we can see five to six months here consistently it has stayed within the zone specifically below 104 levels and now it has come to the strongest resistance at 105.5 now note this one two three four five this is the fifth candle which is trying to break past 105.5 level and this is definitely definitely a great great resistance at the same time if you look at the candle size see this candle and this candle body size has increased certainly it is staying bullish hence for next week also we may see swings alone either it will it is going to stay sideways before looking forward to a breakout or with slight bearish bias taking it till towards 104.5 104.6 levels at best so this is how uh, dxy might trade next week staying within the zone on the upside 105.5 105.6 and on the downside 104.4 104.6 zone it is it might stay within this and in the month of october possibility it can start with a slight retracement and then pull back on the upside towards the end of the month so yes if you look at the monthly charts after consolidating here for a while after forming the bottom it is trying to give a breakout first candle the second candle can be at least half the size of this and yes or maybe more here and hence that is why I say 108, 110 levels are achievable in DXY in the near future. Likewise, on the monthly chart, it is staying in this bullish channel. Now, let's have a look with the help of indicators. Indicators on the monthly charts, moving average is trading with divergence and bullishness, taking the support from the 20 months average. Now, the prices are looking forward to an up move. Yes, it has taken the support here from the 20 period, which is situating a right, situated right now at around 102 levels. The stock stochastic is rising, looking upwards here and this is a bullish sign the MACD now see after staying bearish for a while the MACD is just trying to so at best what we may see 108 110 levels where the MACD might not cross over uh, till next month and yes at 108 110 achieving the strongest resistance possibly we may see the DXI dropping later from the next to next month and continuing its downward move now look at See, this was the strong bullish momentum. After this, there, there was a sharp slump. Now it is trying to converge. It has not yet crossed over. And since this crossover has come after a long time on the sell side, it may continue for a little while from here. Also, if you look at, see, this was the time when uh, the highs are achieved here on the DXI. This is double top and it is trying to drop from here. And hence, the bottom here can be assumed as a little far on the monthly charts. RSI looking upwards, trying to stay bullish. Coming to weekly. Now look at weekly chart. The 20 and 50 period moving average crossing over here at 103. Very, very good support. And then 102, the 50, 100 period moving average. So this is the going to be strongest support zone for the DXY here. The stock stochastic is extremely overbought here. While MACD is divergent, MACD is bullish. It is looking upwards. And if you look at MACD, see here, after forming the bottom, it is trying to rise and hence, uh, the next month also we may see the rise here in DXY achieving lower highs. RSI rising, coming to the daily chart. Now look at the daily chart, the 20 period moving average situated here at around 104.5 levels. Very, very good support. Yes, the moving averages have crossed over here and since then are trading with divergence. 103, 104.5, very, very good support. Yes, it has to stay below 20 period moving average. Yes, yes it has to come out of this channel and hence only... If it breaks below this channel and comes out of this channel, you can say that we are looking forward to a crash for 103, 102 levels. The stock has to overbought. MACD, now look at MACD on the daily charts, it's staying bullish, staying flat near to overbought zone. It does not mean that it cannot achieve further highs. Right now, we can see it is almost at the triple top levels. And from there, we have seen it yielding lower lows. And thus, a drop from here is something you should watch out for. RSI near to overbought levels here as well. So now we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators, time for me to define the trading levels, strategy and uh, profit making idea for next week. And before I provide you the levels, 
Yes, if you want to learn this art of trading, if you want to learn this art of analyzing and taking profitable trades and becoming a profitable and proficient trader, reach out to me. Join my mentorship batch. The 26th batch is going to start on 9th of October. Only limited seats are available. Register yourself by itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. So let's talk about first where to buy. I will recommend you to buy here at 105 point. See 105.4, 105.5, 105.6. Very, very, very good resistance here. So yes, you can buy here at 105.25 levels, but then be careful of 105.4, 105.6 zone. 105.6 zone. This is the greatest resistance here on the upside. Beyond 105.4, 105.6 is where the bulls might try to take over, and then I will look over to 106.05 and. Beyond 106 levels is where the it is almost certain that we are going to look forward to 108 within the next few weeks. You have to be watchful here, else we may see a potential swing. Even if it tries to achieve 106, there is going to remain the swings here. And above 110, 108 is 110. I do not see this happening at least for the next coming month. But yes, in the month of October, it may try to probably achieve. Them. Now on the sell side, where to sell? Yes, you can sell it around 105.05 levels but then 104.8 104.6 and 104.5 or rather i will say 104.4 this complete zone you have to be watchful you have to be careful 105.4 104.4 104.6 if it stays below this you can expect 104 103 and then 102 levels now remember one point these are great 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 support for the dxy on the forthcoming months as long as 102 is respected the possibility for a rise will be very very strong and hence take your positions accordingly do not treat this as bearish as long as 102 is respected yes uh, it can try to retrace for a couple of weeks but then a bounce back or a rise is ultimate is what we can expect so take your positions accordingly, trade with the stop loss, trade with the trailing stop loss, do like, share, subscribe and comment, join my mentorship badge and signals channel, reach out to me for any of your trading or trading queries, my telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much, have a great profitable trading week ahead, thank you.